Hi, neighbors. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Willie Burnley Jr. I'm a renter living on Winter Hill, a community organizer, and your at-large Somerville city councilor. Two years ago, our campaign endeavored to build a coalition powerful enough to shatter a status quo that wasn't working for working people. Because of our efforts to fight for a Somerville that was more affordable, accessible, and accountable, we received endorsements from unions, environmental groups, and three members of Congress, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and Senator Ed Markey. And most importantly, we earned the support of residents like yourself who gave me the honor to serve as your city councilor. That same communal support and engagement has allowed me to propose and pass the most legislation of any councilor this term. Upon taking on my role, I immediately pass a renter's know your rights law that requires landlords to send new tenants a list of their tenant rights, either by hand or in the mail, in their preferred language, which has equipped tens of thousands of residents with more information about their financial and legal resources. In the face of a right-wing backlash against the trans community, I pass an ordinance making Somerville a sanctuary for those outside of Massachusetts seeking gender-affirming health care and worked with our school committee to draft a, and pass a sex ed policy that is explicitly LGBTQ inclusive and consent centric. I've worked with residents and nonprofits to pass first in the nation non-discrimination ordinances that protect non-traditional families and polyamorous people who may face discrimination based on their relationship or family structure. The laws and policies that our movement has fought for have sparked imaginations far and wide culminating in coverage from the Boston Globe, the New York Times, and even international press. By living our values, we've strengthened Somerville's position and ability to make transformative progress. But I know that there is still so much more we must do in order to make Somerville welcoming, safe, and affordable for all. To build that beloved community together, I'm asking for your vote on November 7th. My time on the council has only strengthened my belief that community needs are perhaps more than ever at odds with corporate greed that causes displacement, environmental destruction, and social dysfunction in this place we call home. And to be frank, challenging that requires more than what a single counselor can do through resolutions, orders, or even ordinances. That is why I will continue to show up alongside you all when our neighbors take to the streets to defend against evictions with organizations like CAS, the Community Action Agency of Somerville. Why I will continue joining picket lines when employers retaliate against workers who seek a union for better wages and working conditions. Why I will continue to advocate alongside parents who want nothing more than safe and stable learning conditions for their children. We need urgency, political leadership, and creativity to tackle these issues. And if reelected, I will continue to lead by example by pushing for transformative improvements for our community. Through creativity and collaboration, I found a way for Somerville to abolish medical debt for residents that make below 400% of the federal poverty rate using ARPA funds. Through partnerships with nonprofits like RP Medical Debt and getting the support of some of the largest hospitals in our area, I've delivered a fully detailed plan to the mayor to eliminate more than $11 million of medical debt in our community for roughly a quarter million dollars. All we need is a political will to do it. To improve connectivity and accessibility, I've urged the administration to invest in micro transit routes that will connect our city from north to south, where the MBTA refuses to run. Moreover, I've taken leadership on pedestrian and cyclist safety by working on a safe streets ordinance to accelerate protected bike lanes, improve accessibility of sidewalks and crosswalks, and to increase engagement with residents before street changes take place. By learning from best practices across the Commonwealth and country, I've worked with residents to offer an alternative vision for public safety that would give residents the option to call unarmed emergency response teams to intervene in moments of crisis that do not require police. Like so many others, our community is at a crossroads where we must make a choice between surrendering our public space and resources to huge developers or committing to bold action by investing in our people, our infrastructure, and our values. On November 7th, the choice is yours. 
And I hope you will vote for Somerville with a vote for Willie Burnley Jr. Thank you.